Again, it looks terrible. But let's take a look at it. And the first thing is you say, what are you going to do over here? Well, I, I know something's trouble. But, you know, it's, whether it's trouble or not, I still don't like the cosecant and cotangent. So I'm going to rewrite them. All right, so I'll write this down. Limit as theta goes to pi over 2. And the first thing I'm going to do is re just rewrite the cosecant. And that will be 1 over sine. The sine of what? 7 theta. Then I'm going to do the cotangent. What is it going to give me? Well, it's really like the co it's really like the tangent. So it's going to be sine 7 theta over the cosine of 7 theta. Now, when you approach pi over 2, uh, you know, the, the, the sine of, of 7 pi over 2, let's talk about that for a second. So the sine function looks like this. All right. So you, you, you count it over, you know, one, two, three, four, five. And if you kept going, right? Six and seven. Well, you know, it is zero, but I'm not touching pi over two. So these still cancel off. That's good news. Let me keep moving. Let's hope for the best. Let me raise this over here. And I'll write it down again. So what do I get over here? Limit as theta goes to pi over two. And then when you go over there, 1 over the cosine of 7 theta. Well, you, let me discuss that. So let's see. Cosine curve looks like this. All right, let's count it up. You know, that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm trying to get 7, right? 6, 7. Oh, it's 0. So I get a division by 0. So I'm going to say DNA. Thank you.